so let's start with access modifier so access modifier in c sharp are used to specify the accessibility of a member like we have filled we have like methods in a class like in an interface even they specify the accessibility of a type as well like class or interface access modifier support abstraction as well by exposing only necessary members and hiding others members so when we create a class so in the class we define members so some members we make private some members we make public so what are the members we are making private so we are hiding those members so we are just showing what are the members are necessary to expose so this is the uh, way to support abstraction with the help of access modifier let's see what are the various access modifiers we have in c sharp so in c sharp we have private access modifier protected internal protected internal and public so these are the five access modifier we can use in c sharp so now let's understand like where these access modifier are accessible so to understand the accessibility let's say we have two different assembly so you can see in the diagram all the access modifier we can access within a class so what are the class we are using for declaring all these access modifier with our class member we can access within a same class in the drive class we cannot access the private members apart from private members we can access all others members here then in the same assembly we have the other class so in other class we cannot access the private and the protected members otherwise we can access all these three like internal protected internal and public and if you have a different assembly so in the different assembly if you are have a drive class which you have inherited from the base class in the assembly one let's say so in the drive class we cannot access the private member but we can access the protected member in drive class in different assembly and internal we cannot access the different assembly but public and the protected internal we can access then in different assembly other class we can only access public member we cannot access the private protected internal and protected internal this diagram is clearly mention what access modifier members we can access in the same assembly and what access modifier members we can access in the different assembly so now here let's understand all these access modifiers with the help of example so here this is my visual studio and here just do one thing just create a blank solution here so i'm just creating a blank solution so just go to the option new then project and here under the the install template we have the option here for other project types now i just select visual studio solution here i'm selecting the blank solution and then specify the location where you want to store the solution here so i'm selecting the desktop let's say and then define your solution name so as a solution i am defining here access uh, modifier access modifier this is my solution name so this is my blank solution in the blank solution i'm going to add a console application so that we can create the assembly 1 and here i'm going to create the console application for creating the assembly 2 so now here let's add a a new project by doing right click on the solution here so, so under the visual c sharp option we have here for creating the cons, uh, the console application using the dot net framework now specify the console application name let's say assembly 1 i'm creating this application name and here in this assembly so i'm just creating a class let's say assembly 1 base class i'm creating assembly 1 base class so this is my class name here just make it public so that we can access this class outside this assembly as well by default access modifier for a class is internal so that's why i'm making it public so that we can access it in other assembly because internal members the internal type we cannot access in different assembly now in this class we have to define all the five types of access modifier so all the five types of access modifier i'm going to define here with the help of instance member so here i'm just going to create the instance member here so here i've just created the private variable protected variable internal variable having the access modifier as private protected and internal and we have protected internal as well and we have the public variable as well now in the same class i'm adding a method for testing the accessibility here so within the same class we can access all the members if you will see here within the same class all the 
access modifier members we can access so let's see so just define a method public void test access test access is my method name and here using the console dot right line i can try to access all the variable here let's say private variable i'm accessing same way we can access here protected internal protected internal and public so all we can access so just do copy and paste here so this is my protected internal this is my public variable so now here to check this one so this is the access so it is here accessible here now i just create this base class object in the main method so i'm just creating here assembly one base class so let's say obj base equal to new then class name now using this class object i can access my test access method and to prevent the closing of the console window just use here console dot read key method now just run the application and see how we are getting the output so right now we have only one project so i can directly run this project here and you can see here all the members we can access like private protected internal protected internal and public all we are accessing here so now here what we have to do we have to create a drive class and in the drive class we will try to access all these members here so just create a uh, drive class so i'm just creating here assembly one drive class drive class and now just inherit it from this assembly one base class so that it will become the drive class here so in the drive class i'm just going to define one more method to test the accessibility and this method name is text access in drive class and you can see here in the drive class we cannot access the private variable you can see here we are getting the message here like it is inaccessible due to its production level so we are getting the error here so it is not accessible here so not accessible others members are accessible here so apart from the public we cannot access we can access all the members in the drive class same i have shown to in the ppt here you can see private members are not accessible in the drive class but others member we can access in the drive class of the same assembly now just create the object for this drive class and try to access the things here so here i'm just creating my drive class object so obj and drive class equal to new obj drive class now just try to access here obj drive class then use the method test access in drive class now just run it so now in the output you can see here we can access only protected members internal protected internal and public here we cannot access the public private here you can see but if you will try to access the parent class method using the object of the child class so we can access the private as well because you are accessing the method from the base class from the parent class not the this drive class so let's try to access the method available in base class now you have the accessibility to the private as well because it's the method of the base class you can see here shown you the way like what are the accessibility we have in the drive class let's in the same assembly let's create a one other class as well so let me create a one more class here and try to access the members of the base class but there will be no relationship between the this assembly one other class and the base class so this is assembly one other class and here just define the method as well here i'm defining the method name here let's say test access and for testing the access here we have to create the object of this assembly one base class so just create the object of assembly one base class in the test access method here so obj base equal to new obj base so now i just try to access all these members here so i'm just trying to access here but here all these members will available on this obj base class so just mention here obj base class instance then dot so you can see here only internal protected internal and public member we can access so if you will see in the ppt in the ppt you can see we cannot access the private member and the protected member in same assembly of the other class but we can access the internal protected internal public member so same we are getting here only three members we can access here but private and protected we cannot access so first two are not accessible but 
the last three are accessible here this way so we can comment this now we just create the object for this assembly one other class so just create the object of the assembly one other class objects so i'm using here obj and other class object i'm using here so it is here new assembly one other class and here just use obj obj other class then try to call the method test access so obviously in the test access we will get only the accessibility to the internal protected internal and public member only three types of three types of access modifier member we can access in the other class so if you will see so far we have done with the class in the same assembly now let's see how to check the accessibility in the different assembly for checking the accessibility in the different assembly let's create one more project in your application in your solution here so i'm adding here one more project here and let's say add a console app here now define assembly 2 as my project name now we're in assembly 2 just add the friends of assembly 1 so that we can access the members of assembly 1 so add the friends add reference now here within the project we have the solution so from the solution option just select the reference of assembly 1 then click on the ok button you can see we have the reference of assembly 1 here now now in the program class we can add the namespace for assembly 1 so that we can access the member of assembly 1 so what we have to do we have to define here a drive class so just create a class here public class and it will be here assembly to drive class so to make it drive class just inherit it from assembly one base class so now this is a drive class so in this drive class just define the method as we have in the assembly one drive class so you can see here in the assembly one drive class this was the method the same method i'm going to copy here and paste so if you will try to access it so here i'm not here we cannot access the private member even we cannot access the internal variable as well so these two members we cannot access in the drive assemb in the drive class of the other assembly and the same we have in the ppt you can see here we cannot access the private member we cannot access the internal member in the drive class of the different assembly so here different assembly is here assembly 2 and the same assembly is here assembly 1 so we have only accessibility to the protected member protected internal and the public member so you can see same we are getting here here if you will do the mouse over you can get the message here like the private variable is inaccessible due to its protection label same way the internal variable is inaccessible due to the protection label so these two are not accessible here so let's create the in the object of this assembly to drive class it is here obj then it is here drive uh, equal to new now try to call here obj drive then test access and just call the method text access in drive not i'm not going to call the test access in the parent class you can see here we are calling the internal protected internal and public member we can access but if you will try to access the base class test access method so there we can access all the members because that is the method available in the base class so in the same class we can access all the things there is no issue here so you just use here a console dot read console dot read key method here and here make sure when you are running the program you have set the assembly 2 as a startup project so if you will see here right now assembly 1 is the startup project so in the previous sample as well it just shown the output from the assembly 1 so make sure we have set the assembly 2 as a startup project to see the output here now just set the assembly to the startup project now run the application and so we will see so you can see here i'm getting here only protected protected internal and public because it is the drive class in the different assembly now just try to access the parent class object the parent class method sorry so if you are trying to access the parent class method you will have the message from all like private protected internal protected internal and public because this is the parent class method so in the parent class we can access all the members but in the drive class in different assembly we can access only these three now just define a other class as well 
so i'm just going to define other class but in this other class there will be no relation here just remove the relation here so test access so this is the method test access so it is here assembly to other class and for testing the accessibility we have to create the object of this assembly one base class so just use here assembly one base class let's say obj base equal to we have assembly one base class and right now i'm just uncommenting this one now obj base we have to use for accessing the members of the base class so you can see here all are giving the error only public variable we can access here so as you will see in the ppt in the ppt if you will see here in this in different assembly other class we can access only public member we cannot access the others member here so same thing is happening here others members are not accessible only public members uh, we can access here simple so let's see so these are not accessible only public are accessible so now let's create this assembly to other class object assembly to other class object like other equal to new assembly to other now just call here obj other obj other then call the method test access now just check it how we are getting the output so we are getting the output only for public we cannot have the access to the others members so this is about the access modifier in c sharp now i hope it is clear to you like how the access modifier are working here and by default the access modifier for a class and interface is internal it's not public so that's in the assembly one make sure you made the base class as public so that we can access in other assembly if you will not make it public it will not accessible in the other assembly you can see i'm getting the error now because by default access modifier is internal for my class and interface so make sure you are making it public thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do share with your friends and the colleague and also do subscribe to scholar head youtube channel and click the bell icon so that the information about such video you will get automatically